How should it be applied? What do we look at? Look at Romans chapter 2, verse 25. For circumcision verily profiteth if thou keep the law. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. Right off the bat, I mean, this verse alone, it, I mean, it, it drives me nuts how people could even be sucked into this. The Jews are these special chosen people, right? And we need to, to bless them. We need to endorse them. We need to promote them. We need to give them money. We need to do everything we can for Israel. And we're going to fly their flag and we're going we're gonna to promote them. And they're God's chosen people. They're a special people. Really? Is that what God cares about? Does God care about the, 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 the even if they are physical seed? of Abraham. What percentage are they? Does it matter? Not at all. For circumcision verily profiteth if thou keep are they keeping the law? Even the Old Testament law. I mean is, are they are they keeping the law over there in Israel today? No. Wait. Can anybody keep the law? No. Okay, well then it sounds like the circumcision isn't going to profit anybody anything anyways. So when you go back and you look at the covenant made with Abraham, and you're going to say, oh, no, 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 look, he gave it to them for an everlasting covenant. I mean, this is their land. The Bible says that that circumcision is going to profit them nothing. Nothing. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. They're uncircumcised. It doesn't matter what is in their flesh. God looks at them and he sees uncircumcision. Because they're trying to keep the law and they're circumcised the eighth day and they break the law. God sees uncircumcision. Verse 26, Therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it fulfill the law, judge thee, who by the letter and circumcision does transgress the law? Verse 28 is key. Look at this. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. Now he just spells it out for you, saying... It doesn't matter. The circumcision is not, it doesn't matter what's in your flesh outwardly. And it doesn't matter being a Jew physically who you're descended from. It says, but he is a Jew which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter whose praise is not of men but of God. That's what matters. And when God gives this promise and makes this covenant and makes this everlasting covenant and there's an inheritance to be had of a promised land, he's giving it to those that believe who are circumcised in their heart. 